This is your Saturday devotion, and have you ever noticed that uh, sometimes, uh, get the cross in here, back here, and back there, behind my bookcase, uh, have you ever noticed sometimes that uh, we take scripture out of context? <laughs> we, we have it say what we want it to say. For example, Philippians 4, beginning at verse 5. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. God is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God. <laughs> it's a little more than just asking and receiving, isn't it? It says that we shouldn't be anxious. That is, we shouldn't worry. And we shouldn't worry about anything. The word nothing means anything. And it says that in everything we ought to by prayer. But what does supplication mean? By prayer and supplication. Supplication means a humble begging. Not a demanding and not an, a haughty kind of an attitude. But with a humble begging and with and this is the part I think we leave out every time. Thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God. <laughs> when was the last time you made your petition to God in a humble begging spirit, but with thanksgiving? You see, thanksgiving is an important part. And recognizing that not all of our petitions are necessarily what's best for us, and that God's timing is not always necessarily our timing. A few minutes ago, I just hung up with both the Toyota dealership and with the U.S. government's recall division. Last June, we were notified that we had airbags in our van, Sienna van uh, that could explode and kill one of us. Not exactly what you want to hear. That was last June. And every couple of months, I have called the local Toyota dealership to ask when they were going to put the new airbags in our car or to adjust or do whatever they're going to do to the airbags. Most of the time, they didn't even bother taking the time to call back. And when they do call back, or when I call them and finally get through to them, uh, they tell me they have no idea when they'll have the parts. So today I decided to escalate it to the next level by calling the federal agency that's responsible for those recalls. Only to find that they assigned a case number to it and said that they may or may not have enough complaints of my nature that they would form an actual investigation of what's happening to the parts. That's real real assuring, isn't it, when it says that those airbags could kill you that the metal firing parts could embed themselves in your head or your heart and take you out. <laughs> Seems like Takata may have decided that it was cheaper to pay for some unruly deaths than to rush out the parts that they needed to for the airbags. What a case. <laughs> Isn't, aren't you glad you don't have to deal with the federal government or with a Toyota dealership when it comes to letting your petitions be known to God. But I want to come back to what I just said a minute ago. Giving thanks and thanksgiving. Psalm 118 says, Give thanks to the Lord. Now, I think that's really important that we remember to do that in our petitions and our prayers. Yes, we can lift our prayers to Him, but we ought to do it with thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, Psalm 118 says, beginning at verse 1, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Now listen to this. His loving kindness is everlasting. His loving kindness is everlasting. Repeats itself in verse 2. Repeats itself in verse 3. His loving kindness is everlasting. Repeats in verse 4. His loving kindness is everlasting. Now, if you compare dealing with God as dealing with a Toyota dealership 
or dealing with the federal government on a recall of airbags. Could we honestly say his loving kindness is everlasting? I don't think so. <laughs> I feel sorry for the poor ladies that have to answer the calls when the complaints come in about why this isn't happening. It's not their fault, but it certainly is somebody's fault. And their loving kindness is certainly not everlasting. So when I compare my dealings with my Toyota dealership and with the federal government, I certainly can't compare them on a similar basis. I am thankful that the airbags haven't deployed and that we haven't been killed. And I give thanks not to Toyota, not to the federal government, but I give thanks to my Lord and Savior. And when I make my petitions, I did it humbly and politely. But I got to admit with some exasperation because it seems that they don't want to answer my question. It's not a yes, no, or wait. It's they don't know. With God, his loving kindness is everlasting. And he does know. And he will answer yes, no, or wait. And so I got to be sure that when I make my petitions and I'm not anxious about anything, not even my Takata airbags that may explode in my face, that I give thanks to God. It's an important part of prayer, particularly an important part of petition, to let him know that we appreciate all that he is doing, has done, and will do for us. That's your thought for the day. God bless you, and have a great day.